Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Here is Azaz Geta and in this video we will discuss the important question on physics, especially the physics. Your exams are very near. I just request you all that work hard, put your best efforts. This time the question papers are coming from on board. So I think even you are taking very seriously to the studies and working at home and school. So this is another a video from our side just to help you a bit. This is a very important physics numerical. So let us read and begin. Watch till the end the video. Many important questions are there and write down in your book. Several electric bulbs designed. Several electric bulbs are designed to use on a 220 volt electric supply. The power supply is 220 electric volt. They are rated at 10 watt. The each bulb power is 10 watt. Okay. How many lamps like n is equal to question mark connected in parallel? We have to connect them in what parallel with each other across two wire of 220 volt line. Maximum allowable current is allowable current is 5 amps. Okay. So we should find actually what you know. Uh, if I know total resistance RP is equal to the formula is 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 like this it will come how many uh, you know how many bulbs so n into we should write n into 1 by R like simple formula 1 by RP is equal to n by R okay n indicates number how many uh, bulbs are there that we need to find okay so 1 by RP we should find out <clears throat> correct what we should find about rp the main thing is you should find out rp and then r also we should find out so think how to find out any idea any idea first we'll find out that what is the resistance of this bulb okay what is the resistance of this bulb let us see we have a one formula power is equal to v square by r you know this P is equal to VI is a standard formula correct everyone should know this so V I in the place of I we can write V by R so it will become what V square by R correct or no so this is the formula which connects power voltage and resistance so power is given as a 10 watt V is given as 220 sorry 220 220 into 220 why we wrote two times because it is v square resistance i want to find out i will just take here cross r is equal to 220 into 220 divided by 10 this zero and this zero will get cancelled 484 zero ohm understood so this is resistance now i want to find out rp will be what total that like maximum color allowable current is 5 amperes so maximum allowable current maximum current allowed is 5 ampere right so now i should go with uh, the formula which we normally have v is equal to i r p one of this is connected in parallel current is 5 ampere potential difference is 220 225 and r connected in parallel total so this 5 will come here rp is equal to 220 divided by 5 5 1 so 144 ohm understood now we will find out by using here 1 by rp formula okay so 1 by rp is equal to 1 by r1 1 by r2 1 by r3 but we don't know how many are there so we wrote n 1 by rp is equal to n by r we will write n number of bulbs are there 1 by rp is 44 n we don't know r we know 4840 correct so now we will just take this 4840 here 
n is equal to 4840 divided by 44. So you can cancel it 44 ones are 44 ones are 4 carried 44 ones are. We'll get the answer as 110. How many bulbs are connected? 110 bulbs can be connected. Any doubts are there? Why I wrote anything particularly? If any doubts are there, you can ask. Let's go for the next question in this. Compute heat generated. Heat generated while transferring a 96,000 charges. Okay, in one hour. Potential difference is 50 volt. Okay. Do you know that heat generated formula is H is equal to I square R and T will come. So here I we don't have T at only one thing is that we have a T. That too we should convert into second. 60 into 60. 3600 second. Okay. Compulsory time should be there in second. Now according to that Q is equal to IT you have the formula. 96,000. I we don't know. T we know 3600. I is equal to 96,000 divided by 3600. 1 0, 1 0. Another 0, another 0. 9, 6 table. 6, 6 are 36. 6, 1 are 6. 6, 6 are. 2, 3 are. 2, 8 are. 8 by 3 ampere. Correct? I we got. Okay. 8 by 3 into 8 by 3. But resistance also required now. Correct now. We can find out. We know basic formula. That is what uh, V is equal to I R. V is 50. I just we got 8 by 3. Resistance I want to find. So this cross will come. 3 will come here. 8 will come. 50 into 3 divided by 8 is equal to R. Cancellation you can do it. 2 4 is 8. 2 25 is R. R is equal to 75 by 4 ohm. Right? Uh, till now any doubts are there? Anyone? If anyone is having, can ask us what is that doubt. 8 by 3. Resistance is 75 by 4. And time is 3600. 4 ones are 4 nines are then 3 ones are 3 threes are again 3 ones are 300 8 eights are 64 7500 just multiply 64 into 75 how much you will get 64 into 75 you will get 4000 800. This two zero should be added. So this much joule of heat is generated. Everybody understood? Everyone understood? Even you can write this as 4.8 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 into 10 power 5 joule. Okay, standard form. One more easiest way is also there if you don't want to follow such a lengthy method then you know h is equal to i square r into t is there. Correct? Hmm. Correct now. You know q is equal to i t is there. Hmm. So what I will do h is equal to i into i t into r. So, this IT can be written as Q. Hmm. And this I into R is nothing but V. V is equal to I. So, if you have a potential difference, V is given 50 and Q is given 96,000. Just multiply, I think you will get a correct answer. 
No need to do this much big process. Is it clear? Understood? If you want, you can do. If it is for 3 mark, you can follow this procedure. Okay? First, uh, we wrote the H is equal to I square RT. And then we found uh, the I value. We found T value also. A T value was given only. We found R value. Okay? Not difficult. Not difficult. You can understand it. Okay? Try. If you don't get, you write in comment. will help you out. 100 Joule of heat. Okay, produce each each second in 4 ohm resistance. Potential difference, find the potential difference. What is the formula of potential difference? V is equal to I R, correct or no? So R we know 4, but I we don't know. So for that H is equal to I square R T. H we know 100. I we don't know. R we know 4. Time we know 1. So 100 is equal to I square into 4 ones are 4. This 4 will come here. I square is equal to 100 divided by 4. 4 ones are 425. So I is equal to root 25 will come. Which is nothing but 5 ampere. Correct? So here 5. V is equal to 5 for the 20 volt. What do you say? It was a such an easiest question. Right? Everybody understood? Or you have any doubts on this? Any doubts boys and girls? Any doubts? This question whether you can do it or not message me this question this one we will do now little bigger will make it previous one is also very important and interesting even this is I think textbook question Calculate the resistance of a metal wire. Length is given 2 meter. Area is given 1.55 into 10 power minus 6. Meter square it should be area. I should check out whether centimeter square or meter square. Because if it is a centimeter square, then the value will get changed. Correct. Now we need to go for Yes, it is a meter square Exactly Resistivity is given Rho 2.8 into 10 power minus 4 ohm meter Okay Now we should find resistance So you know that a Resistivity formula is it do you know resistivity formula? Yeah. Tell me, tell me, tell me. R is equal to rho A by L, right? Right? Resistance is directly proportional to what? Length. Resistance is inversely proportional to area. So what will come, Baba? Huh? R L by A. Correct. R is equal to rho. Rho is what? 2.8 into 10 power minus 4. L is what? 2 meter. Whole divided by area is how much? 2.8. One minute. One minute. Yeah. Uh, area is 1.55. 1.55 10 power minus 6 everybody got it so it is very simple now 2.8 into 2 
into 10 power minus 4 plus 6 whole divided by 1.55 r is equal to 2 8 are 16 2 to the 4 5.6 into 10 power 2 divided by 1 what will get 155 by 100 because after point two digits are there so r is equal to 5.6 into 10 power 2 into 10 power 2 this 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 is if it comes reciprocal divided by 155 what do you guys say is about this correct so this even can be written as here i will write r is equal to if i multiply this 1 1 power 5.6 into 10 it will become 56 and 1 power will remain so we can write as 10 power 3 right or else you can what you can do just multiply 5.6 into 100 this much so it will become 560 into 10 power 2 now whatever the possibilities are there to cancel see 5 3 is a 5 1 za. 5 1 za, 5 1 za, 5 2 za. still any possibilities are to cancel or no just check out if it is not there then just keep division and keep the answer am i right boys and girls whether you have any doubt on this any doubt resistivity of the metal is what actually we got uh, different resistivity of the metal is minus 8 it is given but I wrote minus 6 yeah resistivity is minus 8 2.8 into 10 power minus 8 so that is the reason that we are getting this answer but it's the method you understood or not method method the thing is method you understood or not okay even if i check even if i correct it even if i correct this for example if i make here minus 8 then uh, resistivity this will be minus 8 minus 8 plus 6 will become minus 2 correct okay then minus 2 and plus to this and this will become zero so we will be having simple answer r is equal to 5.6 divided by 155 and you should divide it 5.6 divided by 5.6 divided by 155 you will get r is equal to 0 0.361 got it my point everybody so major thing is that you should know just the calculation part the rest is understandable <sighs> hope you all understood if anything doubt is there just let me know message me okay and one more question is there in that that should be solved by yourself metal wire is doubled given length of wire is double of itself and this repeated i mean this a process is repeated once again then what will be changes in the resistance of wire matlab you are increasing the length of wire double matlab folding it correct and then again you are folding it so the length is decreased by four times so resistance will be increased because you know that 
length and uh, the what you say the resistance are inversely proportional or directly proportional directly proportional so length will in decrease resistance also will decrease got it correct let's say you try this okay if you do not get message me will 